Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Let's make something small but cute. Y'all stay tuned. So yesterday, you guys saw me make this really sweet little box, and it's perfect for holding the three ounce sizes of the Bath & Body Works um, toiletries. So today what we're going to make is this little box, and it's designed to hold the lotion as well as the body wash in the three ounce size. So let's get started on making it. So to make this project, we're going to start with a piece that measures 12 by four and three quarters, and on the four and three quarters side, we are going to score this at one and an eighth. Turn it to the opposite four and three quarters side and score it at one and an eighth. On the 12 inch side, we're going to score this at four and five eighths, five and three quarters, 10 and three eighths. and 11 and a half. And then we are going to fold and burnish our scores. And then I'm going to come back with my scissors and when I fold it like this, I'll have, when I fold it like this, I'll have these two tabs and I'm simply going to come back and just cut up to the score mark. And then I'm gonna come in and just angle this a little bit. And that'll make folding my box easier. And then I'll turn it and I'll do the same thing on this side. And then it should look like that. So then we're going to have this end here. We'll have a small flap and then a larger flap. And we are going to cut in this direction. So we're going to cut up to the second score mark. And then we'll come back and we'll just angle this a little bit. And then we're going to remove this little flap piece here. All right, and before I glue the box together, I want to add a window, and I want my window to be here. So on my other box, when I folded it, I had the fold flap coming in the front. This time, I want to fold it so that the flap is going in the back. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So I have a piece that measures three by one and a quarter, and I am simply going to place some glue on this. and I am going to glue this down. And if you guys are interested in the glue that I'm using, it's reptile glue. And if you guys are interested in the glue that I'm using, it is called reptile glue and you can find it listed in the description box along with a link to purchase. So I am going to come back and just use my finger blade and cut this out. And the finger blade and all other supplies that I'm using with the exception of the paper, I have links provided in the description box. The paper that I'm using is from the Frank Garcia Christmas in the Country collection. And you can find that by doing a simple Google search. Okay, so I'm gonna use just a very quick and easy way to cut out my acetate. Instead of placing it in the cutter, I'm simply placing 
my template in and then I'm going to cut around the template giving myself a little border and this is just no measuring if you feel like you want to measure you can but basically I gave myself about a quarter of an inch on all four sides of this and then I'll come back with my glue and I am going to take my glue and place this down so I'll bring in my little acetate piece and I am going to get it down and then I'll come back with my bone folder and I am going to take my bone folder go up and then I'll take it in the middle and go down and that just helps to get the glue spread out so now we can put this together so the way that we're going to put it together so I am going to put glue on my tabs I am going to bring this piece up just like this and this piece so the piece that does not have the window is the piece that I'm joining to the tab and I'm making sure that my bottoms are nice and straight and then I'll come back in with my bone folder and get this stuck down and then I can bring this up and then I can take this and just place glue I'm not going to place any glue on the flap here I'm simply going to place glue beneath the score mark and all the way down so then I'll just take this and I'm going to make sure that when I close it I'm matching up my top so I want it to be nice and even coming all along the top so I'll come back in with my bone folder get that stuck down and I'll do the same thing over here I'm not going up to the tab just putting glue up to the score mark and then I'm going to get this stuck so that my top is even and then I'll come back with my bone folder get this stuck down and then just come back and go along the edge and then for this little tab right here I am going to notch out just a tiny piece from the end not a big piece just a tiny little sliver and I don't know if you guys can see that but that's the sliver right there so now I should be able to fold my box in and I can and that's a nice little snug fit so, so I am going to take the lotion out of this one and I'll place it inside of this one close it Oops. there and now we've got a really cute really fun really simple little box I am going to come back and just do a very light embellishment to this the video is not about how I embellish it, it is about the process of making the box, but I think I'll just go ahead and do just a very light embellishment. And then I'm going to take this pretty little flower and put it on top. And this is a great little gift item to sell at your craft fair, great item for a stocking stuffer great item just to give to a co-worker a just because gift this is a very cute little gift so I'll bring in the other box which is empty but cute nonetheless and you can see just how adorable these two boxes are so guys here is another way to package your Bath and Body Works small items so I hope that you guys have liked this project I hope that you found it helpful if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys, have a great day. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.